The wait for 2L to finally become a name storm continues as it eyes the coast of Nicaragua. Update 4 on potential tropical cyclone 2L that even after 72 hours after its designation still is not a tropical storm located at 12.0 degrees north, 75.8 degrees west. This is as of 6 p.m. this June 30th Eastern Time. We're looking at winds of 40 miles an hour still with a pressure of 1,008 millibars and it's still moving quickly about 20 miles an hour to the west although this movement is expected to slow down in the next 12 to 24 hours before it does make that landfall tomorrow in Nicaragua. Here it is on the map there, pulling away from the Venezuelan and Colombian coasts with tropical storm force winds extending 60 nautical miles to the northwestern quadrant and 70 to the northeastern, no winds on the southern quadrant still. In terms of its distances, it's 105 miles away from Cartagena, 318 from Cologne, 505 from Limon, 527 from Bluefields, uh, that is north of the landfall location and, uh, at 527 miles, uh, 700 away from Managua, and that would be 169 kilometers in Cartagena, 512 from Cologne, 812 from Limon, 848 from Bluefields, and 1130 from Managua. Uh, of course, these Nicaragua distances are going to get sh uh, sooner as we are looking at the landfall somewhere in the southern part of the country, possibly Costa Rica, that still can't be ruled out. Here are the intensity estimates, and you can see that because this is still a potential tropical cyclone, we still don't have much, uh, besides the National Hurricane Center and what Recon's been finding. It's still 40 miles an hour, and that's pretty much been the case ever since its designation. Here's the latest coming from the National Hurricane Center. It is expected to become a tropical storm any time now. Uh, don't even know when at this point, but a 65 mile an hour landfall is now what the National Hurricane Center is running with. Tropical storm and hurricane watches are up for Nicaragua and Costa Rica. On both sides, even there's a tropical storm watch in the Pacific side. Uh, it is expected to cross over into the eastern Pacific, where it will then strengthen into a hurricane uh, by Monday, peaking possibly at 80 miles an hour on Tuesday. Uh, so, interesting storm whenever it finally does get itself uh, together. Uh, obviously, if it does, we would be looking at Atlantic East back crossover. Here are the sea surface temperatures right now. It's around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius where 2L currently is. And it looks like those temperatures up to landfall remain around the same and have been the same for pretty much the entire duration of the storm's life. Uh, so no surprises there that things haven't really changed uh, much in that regard. Here are the tropical storm force wind probabilities and you can see there's about a 50 to 60 percent chance of tropical storm force winds across Nicaragua which is continuing to uh, go up. The Mexican coastline also has to watch this as there's a possibility that there is tropical storm force winds impacting them as well. And in terms of the key messages we are looking at heavy rainfall that could cause flash flooding mudslides slides in Nicaragua and Costa Rica by Friday. Hurricane conditions anywhere along the hurricane watch area and tropical storm conditions that are expected on San Andreas on Friday. Uh, San Andreas not not San Andreas, uh, California, of course, it's a completely different thing, but you can see what the intensity is. Uh, it looks like not much strengthening now on the Atlantic side of things. Wind shear remains low, however, and if you look at the sea surface temperatures, those really don't change much either with relative humidity going up from here on out. So looking at the bigger picture, uh, we are looking at a storm that's refusing to actually get itself together, but it could be its fast motion, and now that it's going to be moving slower, it should be able to get its center done. And you can see it on satellite. It looks pretty disheveled currently, not looking that great, period. Uh, arguably worse off than it did uh, two days ago. And it better get itself together soon, or else it's really not going to get that name before landfall. Um, which would be interesting, given the fact that this was uh, designated a bit ago. With there now being over 25 advisories on the system, it's now broken the record for most PTC advisories on a single storm uh, before actually becoming something, including PTC 10 and 17E. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening, but we'll keep you updated with live events or scheduled with our Tropical Weather Bulletin live at 8pm Eastern Time.